Hey everyone, welcome back to Cosmonaut Mostly in uh, Workers and Resources in the Soviet Republic. Yeah, okay. Well, last time around, let's get the uh, time rolling here. Uh, we got um, refining going for oil. Uh, so we are accumulating fuel and we are accumulating bitumen. And what we can do now is change the uh, source where we get this from for up here to down at those locations. Now I'm going to do that with the where's the import operations? There's import operations. Um, okay, I don't have I don't have full rail uh, operations going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to there. Okay, so uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to go down here and we're going to uh, we're going to add Can't find a path. What? Oh, right, because we have to finish building the roads. Uh, right. So this road just needs people. And are the people on the way? Uh, well, a bulldozer is. Really? Do I have the bulldozers not set to uh, be okay where are you where's your home barter town construction office okay barter town construction office that is here yeah do we have open hulls? We do. Um, I think we should deliver mechanisms only with trucks here. I mean, that would be sensible, wouldn't it? Uh, but I think we should add a couple of uh, open hull trucks here. Which one's this one? Uh, 706. Um, okay. Well, if we come over here, we can purchase uh, open hull. Where's oh, there's open hull? Total capacity. Uh, we'll add. I'm going to add three of them there, just so that there's uh, lots to deliver mechanisms. Um, okay, so barter town here. Yeah. Okay. You can go here, right? And then you can go here, right? And then you can go here. Okay. Yeah. We really shouldn't be having slow things be driving all the way over to wherever they're going. Okay, that has finished. Okay, I need to also get... Oh, the rail line here is uh, just about connected. Um, we're going to assign without people. No construction offices have a path. What? What do you mean no construction offices have a path? Oh, because I'm on the helicopter. Uh, yeah, okay, so we, we do that. Let that get built. Uh, okay, so we have a rail all the way around to there. We still have more rail stuff to build there. We'll let, let the rail stuff get done. Uh, and then... Uh, look at uh, potentially exporting there. Uh, right. 
Oh, yes, I was going to come over here and I was going to add a bitumen source here. And that's going to be load bitumen at down all the way down to 0%. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. And we're going to, we have bitumen turned off there. Okay. Good. Good. So, we will now be collecting bitumen from down there uh, to bring it up to here, which is full currently, so that's not going to be an issue. Um, right. Good. What are we... What are you... Fuel. Um, no. Fuel import operations. Where is fuel? Okay. Where are you going to? Um, here. Yeah? Okay. Um, do we have any vehicles attached to this? Barter Town Bitumen Import Operations. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Okay. Wait. Um, do I have any tankers at import operations? Um, I do. Okay. So this, well, let's take a look at this line. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're parked there. Okay. Well, you, uh, you can go to a depot over here. Yep. Yeah, so that will uh, that will get uh, one bit of import not happening. It'll get less uh, trucks uh, running through here, which will definitely. Uh, help uh, okay now down here we have a road uh, constructed we need we got two more th or three more pieces of road to construct okay so we get those constructed uh, with uh, gravel and we should be we should be good um, yeah then I can swap the fuel source to be down there. And... Um, I'm thinking... It might perhaps make sense... To do some sort of thing. Uh, we're going to uh, sell this. Okay, now we've got uh, a line here, which is bitumen import operations, which we can delete. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, I think we also need a destination uh, building for the bitumen uh, here and this is going to be unload bitumen if it's below not a hundred it's below 89% yeah yeah good uh, 
this, yeah, we're not using as asphalt at any particular rate at the moment. But when I get more of this uh, road business uh, going on here, um, uh, right, um, you know, it will, uh, it will change. Uh, okay, well, we've got this here. Uh, do we have a... Uh, we have a excavator coming, right? Okay, so that'll get built, good. Meanwhile, we are accumulating fuel uh, at, at a decent pace. Uh, how's our, yeah, I probably need to get more workers coming down the, uh, down the cableway, right? Uh, and that's just going to need um, more people to actually be places, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just going to need more people to actually uh, turn up. Can I shorten the distance between that stop? Not really, no. No, I'd have to update that road. You know what? I'm going to update that road. And this one. And this one. Yeah. Okay. So we can do this, this, and this. That will use a couple bits of bitumen for the asphalt. Uh, that will shorten the walk into there. Uh, from the uh, station here. Uh, these guys, yeah, there's a whole bunch of, of empty spaces still. Uh, we have 6759 uh, workers. That needs to can, that needs to go up. Um, we need more uh, more young children. And that uh, you just check these. They're supplied. That's good. Okay. And these guys, yeah, okay. Uh, everything seems to be okay here. We're building the uh, the the uh, rail yard thingy here. Uh, that's uh, that's definitely uh, useful. Uh, it'll take a while to uh, finish all of that business. We got the passing tracks there. We got a passing track here somewhere. I thought, yeah, here. Um, and we've got, uh, a couple, we got the split off to, to here and there. I want to also create a rail distribution office operation for these guys. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that, uh, but I'll use the, uh, the rail distribution office to... Uh, handle export uh, because then I can put in some trains uh, with uh, a tanker you know a, a, you know a couple locos and a, a bunch of tankers or tanker cars right and then I can set it so that it will export from these if they're over say 50% uh, or something like that and then uh, uh, you know, and arrange it so it'll uh, send uh, a train with, uh, I don't know, six, six tanks uh, in there and uh, uh, grab, uh, you know, all, all it can export with that, uh, send it uh, and then send it out. But it'll, I'll keep a buffer in these for internal fuel usage. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, it, it keeps the uh, the export from wiping out the uh, the stuff I need, right? Ultimately, I'll probably end up uh, uh, setting up um, uh, you know in other places on the map, uh, also fuel depots, uh, but they'll be the uh, the small ones here, and they can be uh, supplied with trucks or uh, dedicated smaller trains, right? Oh, here we go. We're uh, working on that one. Yeah, I don't get the logic it uses to pick which one it works on, but it does have some sort of logic there, I guess. Um, 
So uh, uh, I may have went through this when I was setting this up, but the idea here is there will be two tracks here for, for uh, outbound trains here to wait and one for trains to leave, okay? Um, and then, oh, that just looks manky as anything, doesn't it? Yeah, well, uh, and then there'll be a passing track down here so that trains can pass so we don't get a massive bottleneck along this line. And uh, with that, uh, we have um, then the uh, stations here where two trains could uh, could come in. I think these are long enough for six car trains, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. What has stopped production? Um, it has indeed stopped production. Um, yeah. Well, that could be an issue. Uh, where, where is everybody's going? Oh, uh, we don't need this to be running at a particularly high rate. Um, so we'll drop this down to uh, the minimum workers here. Right. So, so the idea here is. Uh, uh, we don't want to have this soak up all the workers from the bus stop. Uh, we want workers to be going here, right? So that the uh, thing is operational. We also want workers in the power plant, all that jazz, right? Um, yeah. Actually, I can up that to 10. Um, okay, so is this actually producing anything useful, or are we just, uh, aggregate unloading? We aren't bringing, oh, I'm not bringing, uh, am I not bringing, I'm not bringing gravel in. Yeah, I'm not bringing gravel in. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, uh, right. I need uh, I need a couple dumpers. Um, yeah, I need a couple dumpers in there. Uh, oh, I'm not bringing cement in either. Okay, I need to bring the uh, resources in or that's not going to do anything. Well, isn't that absolutely uh, astounding? Okay, well, uh, we're going to need a dry bulk uh, uh, tank. That one will do. And we're going to need a uh, dumper. Um, that one's slow. Uh, that one is 60k has tw does 12 tons 70k does 12 tons yeah the t138 and i think we can just get away with one of each here yeah um okay i'm gonna pause everything while i sort this out i need to go check on uh, on all of that business um okay so here we're gonna go from where can we collect um, gravel from? Uh, we can collect it from... We can collect it directly from here into there. So we're going to wait until unloaded and... No, it's going to be gravel. And here we're going to load 100% of gravel. Right. Okay. And this is going to be uh, Barter Town Prefab Gravel Supply. Yeah. E yeah. Okay. And then we can start that guy going. 
Yep, and then this guy, we add a new stop. We can pick it up here. Yeah, and then we can drop it off here. And we'll wait until unloaded. We'll go over here. We'll load cement at 100%. And this will be Barter Town Prefab Cement Supply. Yes. Save. Yep. Start. Start. Okay. Now here. All related vehicles. Yep. Okay. That should kick that into operation. That is doing something that has no workers. So uh, we're, we're eroding workers down here. Yeah. We need a building that always just sends workers over here. Now, all related vehicles. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say you guys have to all go there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hopefully that guarantees we have enough workers for all of the uh, stuff up there. Um, yeah. Uh, and it's because we don't have enough uh, enough population, right? Uh, because I did that dumb a while back, and uh, the population dropped, right? Oh, let's uh, run things faster. We have workers accumulating there fast enough that buses are uh, filling up. I think it's the construction processes that have uh, sucked back the workers, right? Uh, but I think if we do that, then all of these things should uh, operate. Yeah, that is we definitely need uh, workers in these. And here, um, are we actually loading? We are loading. And here... Oh, is that the dry bulk coming? That's the dry bulk coming. Okay, we have cement in there. And now we have gravel coming. Yep, we have gravel coming. And now it should produce a couple of prefabs. Yeah, it is producing a couple of prefabs. Actually, that's going to produce them plenty fast enough for what we need. Yeah, that is going to do that. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to Import Operations. And I'm going to turn off Prefabs there. And I'm going to add here where we are going to load Prefabs if there is... Oh no, load. Uh, at zero. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that will get us... Uh, we, now we're not importing prefabs, so that will cut us... Uh, cut our... Uh, uh, import costs slightly more. Now, is there anything on the way here? No. Okay, good. So we're not going to be importing prefabs when we're uh, doing whatever we're doing. Uh, now, here, this is the rail construction logistics, right? Yeah. Um, Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine there. Okay. Uh, over here, we have 
Yeah, we have plenty of prefabs in there. Okay, so we're fine there. And this, we are... Yeah, I think that's going to be fine for now. Good. Um, now how's this doing? Eight workers? How's this doing? Um, well, it's enough workers to actually do something. That's good. Um, yeah, I, that is definitely going to be better. Now, down here, uh, I need to finish these uh, roads. So, uh, I need to remember to actually do those things. Yeah, let's do a notification when that's done. Um, yeah. Okay, that, uh, from here we can get to all of the, uh, places, yeah. And here, yeah, we don't have any, um, okay. We are collecting workers here. Uh, can we do, um... No, we can't adjust that unless we have another place where they can go. But they can go here, wait an hour, and then go elsewhere. So um, that, uh, that shouldn't cause too much trouble. Uh, but it will mean that we always have workers here to run our other stuff. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, are we... Are we collecting workers here? Not really. Okay. Because they were coming from here. Yeah. Um, okay, we got a, a rail into there. This is a rail there. We got one, two bits of rail there. Uh, we got two bits of rail there. Okay. Is the... Uh, rail guy doing anything where are you um what's uh look at look at that we got it's in the trees where is it um got to love that dynamic follow camera where you can't see anything eh um ah it's doing the uh doing a do, is that the it's do, oh it's the it's that piece okay will it actually finish that piece uh with this load i think it will and then there's that piece yeah okay the rail's going to be done soonish uh how's this doing 300. How's that doing? 500. Uh-huh. Uh, how's this doing? Slow. Okay. Slow is fine. Uh, where are we with everything else? Um, 67.95 workers. Um, is that actually growing usefully? That's a good question, isn't it? it, it whether it's growing usefully. So the rail, the initial rail construction is going to be done soon, uh, and then I will go and uh, electrify it all, uh, and then it should blast through that fairly quickly, and then uh, then I can figure out what I'm going to do to export uh, stuff from there. Uh, we are actually not that far down on uh, imports versus exports, however. Uh, just before I put the end of the episode in here, let's just go check in here, and we've got um, uh, we owe eleven million, right? And uh, yeah, that means that we got to pay three hundred and thirty k a month, right? And that means uh, we need to get exports going at a rate of about three hundred and thirty k per month. Uh, Otherwise, we end up down further. However, you'll note that 
a number of these are uh, su are substantially down in their uh, payments remaining. So even if we're we have less uh, income monthly than our uh, minimum monthly expenses, uh, as these drop off, this number goes down, right? So we can possibly survive a fair fair chunk uh, further without getting substantially further in debt. Now I will say that in a uh, offline game, uh, I ended up uh, 40 million down before I managed to get exports operational. But that export was bauxite. And bauxite is extremely lucrative. Oil and bitumen can also be extremely lucrative, but not nearly as good as bauxite. Uh, but we do have some level of exports going with uh, cement, I believe. And uh, yeah, we can actually go and look at that. Uh, if we go into um, import export, if we go at look look at exports, Soviet bloc, we're exporting cement. Um, last month, we did eight eight thousand rubles in cement exports right so that's not nothing right uh it's not a lot but it's not nothing uh if we add oil and bitumen to that uh, and potentially gravel although once we're doing our own fuel that's the other thing we want to look at imports soviet block imports so uh we're importing steel and that's our most expensive import that's for construction right and so is the electronic components. But then fuel at uh, last month at 5,500 rubles. Uh, and we'll be able, we only imported 48 tons of it. Uh, and I think we're producing enough so we can turn off that import. Food, we, we're going to continue to have. Coal, if we can get a coal industry up online, we can avoid that cost and we can export coal as well. Uh, meat is not that much prefab panels we are now producing our own prefab panels so we won't be importing those anymore and uh, we are importing power uh, but or we did import power um, this month um, no prefab panels uh, there's steel uh, so it's it's going to be better uh, each thing that we don't have to import is going to be better uh, so as you can see, we've maxed out our storage of prefab panels in the factory uh, and we're accumulating a buffer of both cement and gravel there and we'll have uh, no particular problems there. Uh, down here, yep, so that, those rail bits are finished. We've got one more rail bit there and we got the rail bits over here, one more over here. Okay, so the uh, I'll probably just let it run here until those are finished. Uh, right. Now, down here, uh, this, that one needs people. Uh, yeah, that one needs people. Uh, okay, we'll, uh, we'll do that. And then these two won't. Okay. Now, how are the critical things up here doing? We have eight workers there still. We got 14 there. We got 13 there. Uh, here, I think we can possibly drop that down to uh, five. Nah, we'll keep it up at 10. Uh, citizens loyalty seems low where? Um, Are we in range of the Red Star? No. Ah. Okay. That's him. Oh, we got a Red Star here. Oh, we're in range of that. That's fine then. Okay. Let's take a look here. Uh. Okay. Uh, that that's doing okay. We got a serious crime that's being investigated. Um, we have a couple of prisoners. 
Uh, I think perhaps we should add a couple more of each of these in here. Uh, just so that there's more capacity when there's workers. Yeah. That'll keep people a little bit happier. Uh, right. Okay. Okay, so far so good there. What's this? Construction finished. Okay. Now, I uh, go in here. Do this one. Yep. Uh, okay, that bit's just about done. And then our rail construction endeavors are just about done for pass one. Okay. Um, so what I, I did, assuming I did what I think I did, I did the uh, concrete-based railway, I think, first, and then we build the electrified rail uh, from that, uh, because otherwise what it will do is it will build a segment with the concrete, and then it'll go back to the construction office, pick up the components, and then come back and, and electrify it. Then it'll go on to the next segment. But if you do it this way, it will do multiple segments at once uh, with the concrete, and then when you electrify it, it will do everything else. So if we do this, like that, okay, that didn't erase anything, so yeah, we should be good. Um, yeah, so doing it that way, the rail will construct quite a lot faster. See, along here, it would build this, then go back, and then finish it. Then it would build this, then go back, and then it would finish it. It would build this, then go back and finish it. It would build this, then go back and finish it, right? Um, so the Schlemiel effect would be way, way worse. Uh, I should probably explain the Schlemiel effect. Uh, it comes from a uh, paper by, uh, uh, or a, an article by uh, Joel Spolsky, uh, who, Joel Spolsky, who, who wrote a, uh, uh, who wrote about uh, a Schlemiel the painter algorithms, uh, which is where uh, his story was basically, uh, you have Schlemiel the painter, who uh, he, he's tasked with painting a line. And on the first day, he does say, uh, say, a hundred meters. Uh, it, it, you know, or say, you know, say he does, he does a kilometer, say, on the first day. On the second day, you know, which is good, on the second day, he does, eh, half a kilometer. Uh, which is still okay, but it's a lot less and you're wondering about it. On the third day, he does 100 meters. And now you're really wondering, why is it so little? And then on the fourth day, he does like 10 meters. And, and then... You ask him about it, and he like why why did you do did do so well on the first day, and it's so so little this last day. He says, "Well, uh, it, the bucket's getting further away." So what he was doing is he would uh, load up his uh, roller or whatever he's using, then he'd paint, and then he'd go back to the bucket, he'd load it up, and then he'd walk to the end of where he painted, and then he'd uh, he'd, he'd continue. And then walk back to the bucket, and of course, any uh, any uh, you know sane person would take the bucket with them, right? But not Schlemiel, uh, and that's um, that's the uh, the important uh, aspect there um, of the whole thing. Uh, the rail construction offices here are basically the paint bucket, and uh, the constructing devices are are the Schlemiels, right? Uh, they have to go back to the uh, construction office to reload their supplies. So uh, as your uh, rail construction gets further and further away, they take longer and longer to, uh, to build it, right? We are, of course, going to need to get power into these rails as well. Um, and that will be a problem for the next episode. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, 
and I'll be back next time finishing up some details with the rail and also uh, getting uh, the fuel imports stopped and, uh, and then uh, looking at possibly getting exports going for bitumen and uh, fuel. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the idea. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, our population is going up. Uh, it's actually starting to go up decently now. So um, the uh, labor shortage is going to start sorting out soon, as long as I don't uh, botch anything, right? Um, I should probably hire some secret police as well. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, so that's going to be all for this time. So I'll, uh, I'll just say the usual stuff, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that business. Or you can dislike if you prefer. And the bell, if you turn that on, you might get some notifications of new videos. And you might like that, or you might not. Entirely up to you. Anyway, see you back next time.